All right, we are here with Phil Davis, Mr. Wonderful, who will be fighting Saturday, January 24th, UFC on Fox in Stockholm, Sweden. First of all, thank you very much for the time. Appreciate it, Phil. Oh, thank you. And uh, what's, it, what's it mean to be fighting uh, in Sweden? What's that going to be like? Um, it uh, should be interesting. You know, um, it should be, it's cool because it's Alex's hometown, you know? And so we, we've talked about this. Hey, you, when you come to Sweden, I'll show you around this whole deal, you know. So uh, it'll be it'll be fun. It'll be fun. Now you are taking on uh, Ryan Bader. Uh, you're five, ranked number five. He's ranked number seven. Mm -hmm. Pretty big fight. What do you see in Ryan Bader? Uh, he's a tough guy. Scrappy. He uh, he fights hard and he uh, he doesn't lose to uh, just any kind of guy. He he only loses to top notch guys. So, uh, I mean, that being said, you, you got to be really darn good in order to beat them. Now, uh, you know, you're doing the media rounds today with, uh, with Alexander uh, Gustafsson, who's fighting uh, Anthony Rumble Johnson on the main card. Uh, you know, you fought Johnson, uh, I think, back in April. You know, you lost a three-round uh, decision. What advice would you give to Alexander on, on fighting a guy like Anthony Johnson? Um, most of the things that I did wrong, Alex will not do <laughs> just he, he just he's built different you know what I mean he, he he's wired different so um yeah he he's able to um keep a much better range uh just naturally even even if he's on an off night he'll keep a much better range than I kept um so he'll have that going for him but other than that he's um he's prepared for um pretty much anything uh you know Anthony has uh a, a, a good couple of attacks he does, uh, ending with an overhand, and we we just basically got him ready for that. Now, uh, this this light heavyweight division, you obviously have your two fights. Uh, you know, four of the top seven. What what do you think about the light heavyweight division? How do you see it shaping up? Um, do you think it's one of the deepest, if not the deepest, in the UFC? Uh, it's definitely a deep division. Um, you know, the, but there's so many other divisions that I think are, are pretty deep. So, um, definitely got a lot of talent, especially at the top. We got a lot of guys that are, could be world champions. So, um, it, it's definitely it's 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 a it's a close race. <laughs> it's a close race. What did you learn about yourself in that loss to to Anthony Johnson? Well, you know, um, a lot of things went wrong, and. Um, I, I've, I've only bled twice in a fight. One was from my shin, which barely counts as blood. I mean, it's, yeah. it's, barely, it's not even really me. It's coming out of my leg, you know, it's whatever. But, you know, Anthony clopped me right away, and I had blood in my eye. And, um, you know, it took me, in a moment, it took me right back to, uh, to class when I was learning about depth perception. Why I was wondering this in the middle of a fight is absolutely... <laughs> Beyond me, okay? But, anyway, so I, I remember this class, we were talking about depth perception, and, you know, you need two eyes to have depth perception. And it never really made good sense to me, because if you close one eye, I can still catch a ball, I can still do things, but it's because I have already taken a, a snapshot of where I am in space, and where everything else is, and there's nothing moving. Therefore, with one eye, I know where everything is. But when <laughs> I got hit, and there was blood in my eye, now I'm moving to my right to get away from his right hand. He's moving closer to try to hit me, and oh, he has two hands and two feet. I have two hands and two feet, and all of a sudden, it makes perfect sense. That <laughs> I don't know exactly how far away his hand is, you know. It's it was uh, <laughs> such a weird experience, um, but I also learned I learned that lesson in depth yeah. perception. But I also <laughs> learned, despite all of that and uh, getting beat up, um, you know, not not to give myself a pound and bat, but I'm I'm a pretty tough dude too. Yeah, yeah. So. And then you came back with a decision victory over Glover Teixeira. Yeah. Uh, what did you learn about yourself in coming back and, and winning that fight against a really tough opponent? Um, you know, just that, uh, you know, we all have our, our good days and bad days. And uh, unfortunately, um, sometimes bad days... <laughs> 
turn into a loss. Um, and yeah, I tell you what, so I have had some bad days that turned into a win. Mm-hmm. Um, but uh, when I'm when I'm when I'm closer to the to having a good day, um, you know, I'm right up there with anybody in the world. So uh, going into this fight, where do you you know should you uh, defeat Ryan Bader? What do you think is next for you? Uh, you're, you're ranked number five. Who do you see as a possible next opponent? Where do you see your, you know, your next fight coming? Um, you know, it also depends on some of the, the other fight, fights and matchups in my division. Mm. Um, Glover to Sharon, Rashad Evans is a, a very that's a very cool matchup, man. Um, you know. I kind of want to fight Rashad again. Sure. Uh, he got me. He got me good. And uh, it didn't sit well. With me. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes Glover and Machida and some other guys, they lose and they want an immediate rematch. And I, I wasn't that way. I, want, I wanted to stew on that loss for, for a little while. And when I found, when I found that I... That I had something something better for you, then I'm going to give it to you, and uh, so I, yeah, I, I, that might be a cool match up there. You've you fought several of these guys before that are you know with you up in the in the top five, top six. Uh, how do you feel about rematches, uh, or would you you know would you rather have a rematch, or would you rather fight someone like a Cormier, or what are your thoughts? Um, it it all depends on what the rematch is, and in what the rematch is for you know uh it it has to have uh you know it has to be for something Mm -hmm. it can't just because be it can't be just about the fact that i lost sure and i want to get it back oh so what you know okay um to me it's um rashad evans obviously in that top five He's uh he wants to get back at the title and uh he's uh he's pretty close and so that to me makes it a viable matchup.